Chicago's Afternoon News. Now on FM. With Dave Logan and Susie Warchin. Welcome back to Colorado's Afternoon News on KOA News Radio, 8.50 a.m. and 94.1 FM. It's 4.12. I'm Susie Ward. You're with you until 5 o'clock this afternoon. Of course, we've been keeping up on what has happened in France uh, last Friday. It uh, kind of came down right during our show when the uh, terrorist attacks happened in Paris. And so, of course, you know, with it happening right as school is letting out and, and going into the evening on Friday, we had it on at our house and the kids are asking questions and, and what happens. And, you know, these people are at a, a concert and we have teenagers that go to concerts and they wonder and, and ask questions and how do you talk to uh, to kids and not just teenagers but any age of kids about uh, what goes on with terrorism and violence we bring in uh, Rusty Lozonzo who is a, uh, a therapist uh, Rusty it's Susie Ward and appreciate your time this afternoon um, Hi, Susie. There, there's a lot yeah, absolutely. of absolutely I think Oh, go ahead. Very important topic, for sure. Oh, my gosh, it is. And it's not just, you know, it's it's the elementary kids that you have to explain to on one level, and then the teenagers that can understand more, but you don't want them to be afraid to, to go places and do things, but they also have to have an awareness and, and make sure that they're looking at things. And, and we, unfortunately, we have to be that way in this world, unlike how we were, you know, 20-some years ago, where we wouldn't have thought about things being, you know, a backpack being left somewhere. Now you have to be on a heightened alert for stuff like that. So, Rusty, how do you start to talk to kids? And, and maybe we start with the, uh, the the teenagers. I think that uh, starting a conversation should be easy is just having just really a check-in. Hey, how was your day? Um, and then bring it up in a, in a casual manner. So what have you heard about the world these days? And I think that what you'll hear back from them can be uh, rather surprising. Mm -hmm. I asked my son yesterday, um, and, you know, he's he's 10, and he has a little phone, and, and we do that because we always need to have contact yes. with our kids. But <laughs> <laughs> I get that. Anyways, he, yeah, he, but I was like, I, I asked that conversation, asked that question to him yesterday, and I was like, so what have you heard about the world? And, and he's like, well, are you talking about the Paris attacks? No, at first he said, well, there was an Amber Alert the other day. Um, and then I was like, oh, yeah, well, what else have you heard? And then he, he talked about you talking about Paris. And so it's interesting that you know, these kids have a, have a way of getting information, and it is a lot faster, it's immediate, and you have to think about, you know, if they're online playing games, then they're getting these updates that kind of pop on our phones or pop, on our, uh, pop up on the uh, iPads just as easily and quickly as we are. Mm -hmm. and, and it's something I never really even thought about. Yeah, you know, and, and I noticed my son will say something. He's like, oh, yeah, I just saw this on Twitter. And I think, okay, he just knew about something big before I did because he was just watching and, and, and seeing things. And as many people use Twitter, it's almost like it's the, you know, it's the, it's the new AP. That's how you get all of your, your news. Hopefully it's, it's truth.